This video is brought to you by the case that can increase your download speeds by up to 30%. Go to amidcasing.com for more information. And the ultimate iPhone warranty that protects your phone from drops, spills, and everything Apple will not. Squaretrade.com slash TSIG. How's it going there, YouTube? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video review of the LMP Bluetooth keypad accessory for your Apple wireless keyboard. But before we get to that, I want to announce the giveaway winners of the two Zoms which we're giving away. The giveaway has been going on for a long time, and I apologize for not answering and uh, giving you the winners sooner. However, things were on my plate, but fear not. These items do ship, giveaways are legit, and the two winners are Madison Moo, or Madison Mew, I'm not sure, and Illis Kids on the Block. So congratulations to you two guys out of the 543 entries. That's pretty lucky. You guys have, uh, well, you used to, until this point, you had 48 hours to respond to me. I've extended it three days. So my giveaway winners have five days now to answer me, but I'm not going to put it in a dedicated video. So you still have to watch the videos to find out if you won. So you guys have five days. Hit me up via YouTube PM in order to claim your prizes. Thank you so much. And uh, let's get started with the LMP Bluetooth keypad review. Now, this accessory is available for $39.99 at Other World Computing, which is where I purchased it. Yes, I did buy it. That's a first. No, I'm just kidding. I buy more of you product than you might imagine. And then, uh, of course, I have the uh, Apple Wireless keyboard. And uh, it's right here. This is my Apple Wireless keyboard. It's Bluetooth. It's very sexy. We all know this keyboard. We all know how it works. Uh, the problem is there's no numbers on the side on it. I didn't ever learn how to use the numbers up here. And I've always, always used the keypad on the side for everything. And I guess it has been beneficial without having that because now I do have to learn how to type on these, but it still would be better if I didn't have to. So when this attachment was announced, I was very, very ecstatic and I picked this up right away. So I have been able to play around with this for a few days and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on it in a minute but I'll just do this little mock-up and boxing it's probably the most impressive reassembly I've ever done this looks exactly how it came granted it wasn't hard but um, first of all as you can see there's this bracket here now this can work side by side it is Bluetooth so it can work side by side with your MacBook or your MacBook Pro or what have you and then uh, you can also have it separately with your regular keyboard or there's this little attachment that comes in the middle and you can connect the two. So I'll get into that, how that works and all that good stuff in a minute. So we have the box in which it came. We pop this open. We're going to get the keypad in this little wrapping as well as the bracket already on there. Grand, we are going to get uh, two AA batteries, some FCC and warranty information right here and then of course the user guide and how to pair the device so i already have batteries installed i didn't use the ones included i just used some costco kirkland signature ones it runs on double a's uh very easy to pop in there's a door back here now you're probably already gasping saying what what is this sin and this is what i thought when i first pulled out this keyboard it has nothing um, other than the pure top, aesthetically, it is not well built and doesn't look anything like the real Apple Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, they're contoured totally different, and so they still fit on the surface the same, and they still line up pretty well. But you're not going to get that sexy thin edge design that uh, you're used to, which is kind of a disappointment. Uh, but you're going to get that side right there. On the bottom, you'll have three nubs, which is nice because then it doesn't scrape and rub against your table and grips. Uh, you'll find some warranty info, excuse me, warranty information. You'll find your serial number, where it was made, FCC information, all that good stuff. And then LMP, which apparently is the manufacturer, or uh, uh, OWC just uh, distributes it. So we have this side bracket here. You can pull this off and use it standalone as a Bluetooth keyboard. This little nub is annoying, but I'll show you what that's for in a minute. And then, of course, you have your keys. Now, it's a 28 key, and uh, there are the numbers, your common enter plus minus uh, all that good stuff you have five additional function keys and then you have handy page up page down and then up and down arrows as well as a delete key and the clear key so it is nice especially if you're working in excel a lot this is like the total accountants keypad because it has a bunch of these hot keys you don't have even on a regular 10 keyboard i mean normally you'd get that so it is nice that they added this extra row um other than that, though, I mean, it's pretty basic. 28 keys, they all work pretty good. Uh, as for the tactile feedback, they don't feel quite the same as the Apple Bluetooth keyboard. The Apple Bluetooth keyboard is a little bit resistive. 
I mean, there's a little bit more give to it. These ones don't give all that much. It feels kind of mushy and they don't pop back that well. They do have a nicer sound though, which is kind of cool. Um, as for the keys themselves, they're a little bit discolored. You can't see it in this light, but they're not the same white as on the original keyboard, which is really aesthetically kind of a turnoff. Uh, you're going to find that the way the numbers are put on as well don't look that good. I mean, it looks like they were screen printed on there or some enamel. I don't know. They just don't look as traditional and as good as they do on the original Apple keyboard. Now the assembly itself is plastic and this is another downside. So you have this plastic part, but this top part isn't actually uh, aluminum. It's just plastic. You know, you're not going to get that same really nice cold feel that you do on the real Apple keyboard because this is plain old plastic. You're going to get a LED light there, which will indicate to you that it's on. They didn't do the integrated light like they do on the uh, regular Apple keyboard, which looks way better in my opinion. And honestly, you don't ever really see that light. So the fact that it's a big gaping hole is a bit of a turnoff. Now, like I said, this just pairs to your Bluetooth computer and it's very easy. Uh, there's the power switch right here. This is the power switch for when it's hooked up to the laptop. So when you have this brace on, as you can see this button, all that does is pushes this out a tiny bit. So when they're connected together, that'll activate this button on the real Apple Bluetooth keyboard. So the button for the this little keypad is this black one right there. You just hold it to turn it on. Uh, it's not paired to anything right now. I unpaired both these keyboards so my computer didn't wig out in the background. Um, and you'll get this flashing light which says, hey, I need to pair or something's going wrong. Actually, that just says that it's not connected to anything. To pair it, you need to use this little black button. You just take a pin or a needle or whatever, stick it in the back, and it pairs just like any other keyboard uh, very easily and very, uh, you know, without much difficulty. So I'll show you how this bracket works, and then I'll show you how the actual text entry works. I'm not a fan of either. And uh, as you can see, again, this bracket is really cheap plastic which seems really unsturdy and durable and it doesn't feel like it does anything really structurally it's just kind of uh, an aesthetic bridge and it is I mean this fits on there okay and then you slide this other one this doesn't fit you gotta gotta push it okay then you're gonna get the other one right here and you kind of just push them together sorry I'm currently standing over a microphone and it's kind of tricky there we go. Okay, so the problem is there's still this weird little bridge. This plastic doesn't work good at bridging and gapping the two. They still feel like off-centered. This obviously doesn't look that good. It looks like something's clearly messed up. And then as you can see, it just bends. It's not very good quality. It just doesn't hold these two items in place well. That and it's crickety, as is the cold keypad. You're kind of typing on this. You go over here and it's... And it's just not something that I've really uh, taken keenly to. Uh, we just passed the eight minute marker, shucks. <laughs> You guys know I couldn't keep my review short. Uh, you're going to get five additional function keys. They're not the same size as the rest of them. Just kind of OCD, but that looks weird and I don't like it. As for the overall typing on it, I was extremely disappointed and is why I will be returning this keypad. It wasn't like a regular keyboard where it types exactly to the same pace. And uh, that was the original problem with Bluetooth is the keys were always a little bit delayed. Technology's gotten really good and it's really perfect and you can type and the second you push it, the second it pops up. This is ever so slightly delayed. And when you're typing really fast, it actually skips and misses numbers and will hit incorrect numbers. I'm pretty sure this isn't my unit. I imagine all of them are this lower build quality where you'll get this issue, but you're typing away and all of a sudden you miss a number or a mutton or a, you know, a number doesn't pop up and then a 10 long string of characters comes in because it didn't register fast enough. It just doesn't work good. And if you're using it for numbers, which are important, it's not like a word where you can see that it's spelled wrong. You're going to need those numbers to be perfect every time. It's really, really not good. And uh, this is why I will not be keeping this keypad. The build quality isn't great for 40 bucks. You could get the wired keypad. Uh, that's exactly the same as this for you know, it might even be like 10 bucks cheaper. It's pretty cheap now. So this, you know, it is cool because it's Bluetooth, but it is more of a novelty than a functional item. Uh, it looks good. 
but when you get up close you can see all the uh you know aesthetic issues and then of course when the keys are delayed what good is that i mean it's not a very good product i can't recommend it at all and for 40 bucks you can find a lot better that are third party sure they may not hook up and look exactly the same as the apple keyboard but at least they'll be functional so my final resolution for this, that wouldn't make any sense. My final summation for this product is to stay away. Do not buy it. Do not purchase it. I'm sure it's not my unit. I'm sure all of them are this lower build quality. It's a real big disappointment because that is $40 that you know could have been spent to create a really key killer accessory. So thanks so much for watching. This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks. Hey guys, this is Ricky from that's 